Hey everyone, so this video is gonna be a little continuation of the common UI guide that I created. So with this, we're going to essentially fix the problem that we saw in the common UI video. So if you watch that entire video, then you watch this afterwards. If you're watching this now, I recommend to watch the guide first as this may not make a lot of sense afterwards. Uh, so it's fully intentional just to fix that issue. Now I do go in depth on how to fix the issue, um, but not as in depth compared to the rest of the tutorial where I explained basically everything. I do use blueprint interfaces, some other custom events. Uh, it's only about like a six minute video after this intro, uh, but it does go into how to better set up your main menu as well as in the future to make it just a lot easier for yourself. So yeah, let's get into um, it. To start off with what we are going to want to do is we first need to make a blueprint interface. This will save your life immensely. Uh, we'll just call this like BI for blueprint interface and then just call it UI. And then when we open this, we're gonna call this main stack ref. Uh, essentially what we're gonna use is we're gonna pass along the reference of the main stack widget to all of our other widgets. Um, it'll just make it a lot easier so that when we're pushing widgets, uh, you don't have to cast anything and you don't have to call like immense amount of stuff. Uh, so with that, we're gonna then pass along the main menu st stack or just main stack actually, depending on what you called it. So mine is called, isn't it like stack? Menu stack, sorry. If you follow the widget exactly, essentially what it is, it's the one where you set the root. So as long as you have this name of the widget, so menu stack is the reference we're gonna be passing. And then what we're gonna to need to do is add that to all of our widgets. So for this one, we're gonna be adding it to the main menu. We go into graph, class settings, scroll down to interface, type in the interface, and then you should now have this event here, and then grab the menu base, set it. So whatever is the, the one variable that should be there if you follow just the tutorial, and then connect that together. We're gonna go into the other widgets as well. So open up the uh, quit confirm, we're gonna do the exact same thing, class. We're gonna add in the interface. If you double click it, it'll just paste it here. We'll set it here. And then I think we had one other widget, which was the uh, level select. Do the exact same thing. We're gonna do this. And then, oh wait, you don't need it for this one. Okay. Never mind. Don't do it for the level select because we're not actually pushing anything. Well, I guess if you were gonna actually put the back button, uh, so let's promote that to a variable. So the back handler, so here. Uh, you could do the exact same thing where we did the quick confirm, where if you press back, it would go backwards. Uh, we're gonna edit this in a second, but let's go back into our menu stack over to the graph. Um, instead of this, we're gonna do, uh, what, what did we call it? It was menu main stack ref right here. We're gonna do that, do self. Off of the push pop-up, drag off this return value, and then also do the uh, main stack ref self. So whenever we call this function, we are automatically gonna set their variable to the stack so you don't have to cast every single time and then to also make our life easier we're going to do the same thing with the main menu so we're going to do push menu stack copy this 
pull that in there. Copy this over here. And plug that in. So when we push the main menu, uh, we'll be able to set the reference as well. Uh, it'll be a lot easier for us. Let's see. Uh, oh, we forgot to put the menu stack here. There we go. Okay. Now let's go back to our main menu. Let's make sure everything here it looks good. Uh, we're pushing the pop-up. That looks fine. Okay. I think that's good. Let's go into the quit confirm. Uh, what we're going to do instead of get active widget, we're going to do push menu stack, main menu. Uh, let's see if that works. Hit quit, hit no, quit. Okay, no, it's still doing the same issue. Oh, wait, 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 okay. That's because I did not fix the rest of this. Hold on. Go into the event graph. Under the no event, we're gonna do the push menu stack. And then do main menu. And let's see if that works. Hit no. There we go. And then that should resolve the button here. Also with that flashing where you see um, it's transitioning, you can turn that off by going into the menu stack, selecting the widget that's transitioning, and then set the duration to zero. And then from here, you won't look like anything is happening and it should work. So that should resolve the issues now. I know the last thing is we never did anything with the level select, oh, if we hit stop here, and you go into the back handler, uh, you'd have to do the exact same thing as the quit confirmed. So if we were to go in the back handler, we could do this. And then paste. Just before we end it. And drag that in. And then that way, if you ever hit the back button on the level up, that would work too. Uh, so if we went in here, uh, we don't have a back button. I don't have control it plugged in. But anyways... Yeah, that concludes the quick fix that we did and uh, hope you enjoyed the quick little video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, all the other self promo stuff.